so in this video we'll be going through matrix operations which are there four which are reflection operators projection scaling and rotation so let's go through reflection first of all so there are three types of reflection which are across the y-axis x-axis and line equals y equals x so when it says y-axis about the y-axis what you need to remember is when it says y-axis then you're flipping the x so if I write x and y here, you're just moving negative 1 instead of 1. So normal matrix is just 1, 0, 0, 1. And now you're just making the x component negative. And the same thing for a reflection about the x-axis. So you're flipping the um, y-axis component. And reflection about the y equals x is just flipping x and y. So yeah, so this is what you need to remember. These matrices which are highlighted. Now let's look at a quick example of this. So here they are asking the reflection of this matrix about the x-axis. So the x-axis matrix which you have to memorize is this one. So what we just do is we times uh, multiply this x-axis matrix with the matrix given in the question. So let's do that now. So this is the answer and now simplified it will give you 3 oops 3 negative 5 so this is the answer now let's look at projection operators so there are two types of orthogonal projections which are on the x-axis and the y-axis and the standard matrix are both of these which you have to mem uh, remember and memorize and now let's look at a example question so in this example question, we have to find the projection of this matrix on the y-axis. So the standard matrix is 0, 0, 0, 1, and we multiply it by 3, 5. So let's do that now. So this is the working, and now the final answer you will get is 0, 5. And this is the final answer. Scaling operation is the easiest one since you just multiply the matrix by the scaling operation. So let me just show you an example. So let's say, oops, we have x and y, comma, sorry. It will just give you uh, k times x, comma, k times y. So that's all. So let's say if there is a scaling multiple factor by 3, so you just get 3x comma 3y okay, rotation through an angle x and the standard matrix you have to memorize or remember is one in the highlighted and now let's do an example question so we have a question which says rotate 3 comma 5 30 degrees counterclockwise so just apply the formula then so the matrix will be just substitute 30 instead of x in the formula and then multiply it by 3 comma 5 so you will get this and then you can multiply this and get the final answer now one thing i want you to keep in mind is that it says in the question that 30 degrees is counterclockwise so now if it was clockwise let's remove counter here and make this uh, clockwise then the formula the degree will be negative so this formula applies when the uh, thing the question in the question it says either clockwise or counterclockwise so this formula is counterclockwise that's one thing you have to remember so that's all for this video then i hope you understood this topic and i'll see you in the next video then